really weird today. Like, incredibly weird. Galmon, Gal, Galmon, Galmon? I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it, it's a tablet company. It's kind of like, you know, like Wacom. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce anything, okay? I think it's Galmon. I think it's Wacom, Wacom. I don't know, but they're tablet companies, you know, like um, the Cintiq and the Bamboo Splash and the Bamboo Tablets. Those are all different tablet stuff. Well, I think Wacom does the Cintiqs and the Bamboo, I think. I don't know. Don't don't hold me to that. But yes, um, Galmon was actually sent us um, a tablet and they wanted us to review it. And don't worry, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to say exactly what I think about the tablet. I'm not going to review this tablet and like say stuff that is not true. I'm just going to say whatever I think about it. And you guys, well, it's up to you if you guys decide you want to try and get it for yourself or not. It's a, probably a lot cheaper than the Cintiq. Like it's like a Cintiq tablet. It has a screen and everything. But it's probably a lot cheaper because this usually the other companies are pretty cheaper. But Cintiq is known as being one of the best of all the tablets. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I have never actually ventured away from Wacom, Wacom. I've never ventured away from those. I always had Bamboos. And I now have Cintiq, which I think is the same company. I think. But yeah, I now have a Cintiq. And I use, I've been using it for years. And I've never really ventured away from those things. And I'm finally going to try something that isn't... Wacom or Wacom and I'm gonna see how they work the only time I've ever done this and haven't used one of those it was a terrible experience it was like honestly an awful tablet so I'm excited to see how this one goes and I'll be honest with you guys how it is and how it works and everything like that and you guys can choose if you think it's good or if you would want it or whatnot because a lot of artists like to know what tablets are like before they get them and I thought this would be helpful since this is probably a nice cheaper version of a Cintiq and Cintiqs are really nice they have a nice screen and everything to work with so we're just gonna look at it now because I'm sure you guys don't want to stare at my face the whole time. Okay, so this is what the tablet looks like. As you can see, the tablet is pretty big. It is a pretty big size for a tablet. It's like a Cintiq. It's like a smaller Cintiq. I use a Cintiq that's a 24 HD, but there's a Cintiq that's smaller that we also have, and it's a lot like this. And this is really nice. I was not expecting it to look so professional and nice. It actually is really cool in that perspective. Um, it came with, of course, the pen. And the pen is chargeable, which the Cintiqs normally aren't chargeable, which is that is a bonus for Cintiqs and stuff like that. The pens don't need a charge, but this pen does need a charge, but for a lower price and stuff like that, it's definitely not that big of a deal. Charging the pen, I'll show you the what you charge it with. Let me see, um, you charge it with this. This here is um, a USB and then it goes into the pen, see? So you just have to plug it into say like your computer or you can plug it into, if you have like an iPhone, they come with those iPhone, they plug into the wall. And you can just plug a USB into that as well. It also comes with a screwdriver. And you're probably wondering, why does it come with a screwdriver? It comes with a screwdriver because you can't see it here, but there's actually a stand built in the back that is really, really easy to hook on. You can hook it on, it comes with um, four screws and you can just hook it on real easy. It's just like, um, you know how you buy a TV, it comes with one of those mounts. It's like that, it's like a mount. And it just lets you adjust if you want this thing to be up higher or lower. And that's really convenient. I'm glad it came with a screwdriver. That means I didn't have to go find one. It also came with uh, just um, the manual. Just like, it's like only like three pages. It came in a lot of different languages, but there's only like three pages to explain it. And it's pretty simple. To install it, all you have to do is literally just plug it into your computer and it'll automatically install it. But then besides that, you just have to go to a website to get the driver. Let me show you. The driver, I'll just click on my browser here. I have it up. Here, this is the driver website. You will just search. If you go to Google and you Googled Galmon, which is spelled right up here, it's Galmon Driver. It'll come up right to this page and then you can just download the driver. This is the driver of what I was using. It's the newest one. And you could filter by model, category, whatever, and get the driver you need for your system. So it's really convenient. You can just go straight to the page and it's really well laid out. It also comes with this little piece of paper to tell you where to get the Galmon Driver. So that's how you find it pretty easily. And it also comes with this glove. This glove is made for, um, so you don't smudge the screen while you're drawing. You put it on like this, see? It goes only over your pinky and that finger. Then when you're using a drawing, you can put your hand on the screen and it won't smudge or make a lot of nastiness. I mean, if you don't want to draw through like a layer of skin particles in like a week, this is a great way to avoid that. Also, it came with this cute little it's very big, and I don't know if you can see this. It's a 
thing to carry it in. That was a really loud Velcro, but yeah, see, it opens up and you can put your tablet in here. And this is really cool. I don't think I've ever seen this come with a tablet before. Having something to put it in to keep it safe, that's honestly really cool and really nifty. So it also comes with this little stand. This is the stand that you're gonna put your pen in. See, so you can just put your pen in like that and it'll hold it up. So even if it's charging, you can still have it standing. But this little thing has, if you turn it and open it, I don't know if you can see that. See, once you open it up after turning it, it has these little pin heads inside, which that's so convenient. Having these, these also come with like a Cintiq, so that's like a really nice touch. It keeps you, well, you don't need to buy these new pin heads every time it wears down. And you can have these for years if you're careful. And you won't even have to buy new ones forever, which is really nice. I have not needed to buy new ones in such a long time. So having one that comes with this, like a tablet that just includes it, is so nice. Because then you don't have to buy those all the time. And if you do wear it out, you just probably have to pull it out. If you just grab and pull, it should just come right out and then you can pop a new one in. It's really easy. <laughs> um, it says here that this pin has an 8192 pin pressure. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm just stating what it says. So a pin pressure, I'm guessing that based on like if you touch it lightly, it does a light little peck. But if you then hold it down, you could do a real big one. So then, wow, that's really nice. Honestly, this is really nice. I'm I'm shook. Okay, wait a second. How is it? Okay, it lost it lost like a connection there for a second. It's probably because I was tilting it. Maybe it's because I'm tilting it, or it's just my computer, or it does lose connection every once in a while. I am not sure because I haven't used it enough to know. But it seems to be keeping a pretty good connection. One of the biggest pluses is oh my gosh, if you're buying a tablet, you have to make sure this is part of it. The pin has to hover. When you're on top, it needs to hover so you can see where you're drawing. The worst thing ever is when you get a tablet and the pin doesn't hover, you have to click for it to even register at all. And that is so annoying. So you have to make sure when you're getting a tablet, you have to make sure it can hover. And this one can hover and it hovers really well. So that is, I'm, I'm glad it does that because that is my biggest pet peeve with tablets. I bought a tablet once and it couldn't hover at all and it was so painful and I couldn't stand it. And I had to get rid of it right away. But this one is really nice. I am shocked by how good the pressure is. If you do like a little tiny dot, it actually registers it. That's crazy. Normally when you do like a tiny little pressure, it's like acts like it didn't happen. But this is acting like everything's happening and this is a really good piece of art, honestly. <laughs> okay, let me delete that. So it also has over here um, shortcut keys, which means you could do stuff with them. I think they already set up to some shortcuts, like this one zooms in. If you press this one, you zoom in and that's when you zoom out. So you can set up the shortcut keys, do different things and stuff like that. There's um, also other keys over here for different things. And there's also, if you click, um, what is it, menu here? Yeah, it brings up the menu. And then you can just go through it and change things. Like if you wanted to change the display, and if you wanted to change the um, contrast, the brightness, stuff like that, you can just get in here and change it. This tablet actually has um, a code going for until April 15th to get it for a way cheaper price. So if you guys want to get this, you should probably get this before April 15th, just because there's a special code to get it cheaper. So if you see in the bottom left corner of the video, that is the code you'll use to get it cheaper. So yeah, if you use that code, it's gonna be a lot cheaper, but if you do use the code, it's only gonna be 359 USD. And trust me, for a tablet like this, that's a good deal because most tablets are pretty, pretty expensive. Like the Cintiq, the real big one, is probably close to $5,000. So this is honestly a really good deal. It's not like it's overpriced. So that's nice. Okay, so last, I think we should test this out. So how do we test this out? How do we make sure it works well? So we need to test maybe by just drawing a picture. So I'm just gonna draw something and if it's garbage, it's garbage because we're just gonna do something real easy. I'm gonna see how it works. So far, it's pretty nice. The, t the pin one problem is that you have to click a little to get it to register like a little too much but honestly it's not that bad it feels like something you get used to really fast it doesn't feel like it's a negative thing it just feels like it's something I'm not used to because I've never used a tablet before it doesn't feel like a negative so let's say we're drawing a face we're using guidelines <laughs> normally I don't I don't use much guidelines probably because I don't usually, it's because I'm used to my other tablet. This tablet, I'm not used to at all. I'm moving it, but yeah. 
And to plug it in, it's really easy. There's um, It comes with just an HDMI and a USB you plug into your computer. The other cords here just hook into it so it's already ready. And then it has also a power cable, which you can go down and plug into the wall. And that's all the cords it comes with, which is really nice because it's not like overly done. There's not like too many cords or there's not a cord that literally can't plug into a laptop. There's sometimes there's a cord that just is so big or some cord that never you never see on a laptop ever because I remember my big Cintiq came with a cord that you couldn't plug into a laptop without getting an adapter or something like that so that was a big issue but these with these smaller ones that aren't so huge it's a lot easier to plug into your laptop and it's way nicer in that sense so let's see what are we drawing I honestly don't know we're gonna zoom in here we're gonna I don't know what we gotta test colors I want to test the colors and see what the colors look like. But sometimes tablets have a big issue where the colors on the tablet and then the colors that are on your screen are two very different colors. I'm trying to draw this very quickly, so <laughs> bear with me here. It's not it's not going to be good. It's going to be, it also has buttons on the thing, just like a Cintiq. It has buttons here you can probably set up to be different things. Because I know on the Cintiq one, there was a way to hook up to do an eraser. I'm sure you can do that here too. We can just press a button to get your eraser instead of actually trying to erase it normally. If you know what I mean. I'm right now just babbling, but yeah. So far, the pin pressure is really nice. It's working really well. I mean, it's probably not 100% as good as like say a Cintiq's pin pressure, but it's really nice. Though it does, I think, may have a bigger range than a Cintiq's pin pressure. Even if the clicking is a little slow on registering, I think the range is actually better, honestly, because I feel like it goes so much bigger and have so much smaller to start out. See, look how much it changes. It seems very smooth. It's honestly really nice. I don't see anything about this tablet that would make it so much worse that you're like, no, I'd rather spend an extra hundreds of dollars to get a Cintiq, so I don't, this seems really nice. I don't have much bad to say about it besides charging the pin. Charging the pin isn't really a nice thing for me because I don't, I'll probably forget to charge it. I'll probably forget it does charge simply because I use the tablet that never charges the pin. So trying to charge the pin would be an extra step. But besides that, it's really nice and there's nothing that's really making it any worse than a big Cintiq tablet. So if you're aiming to try and get a tablet that's cheaper than a Cintiq, but is also really nice, this one is really nice. I was shocked. I'd never even heard of a Gaumon before. I've heard of some other ones, but I never heard of this and I'm surprised it works so well for something I've never heard about before. <laughs> this character has is so confusing right now that we're drawing, but Look at the pressure. I like the pressure. The pressure works so well. I'm turning the tablet right now. But the pressure, you can make it so hard. I don't have my tablet set up in a professional way where it won't turn. It's turning because I have it in front of my computer and it's kind of coming off the edge of the table. If you had it set completely on the table and when it slide like mine is, mine is sliding because of where I have it. So don't think it's gonna slide. That is just because of my stupidity. So let's give her some pigtails. Honestly, this is working really well. I, I can't draw a full actual picture, so I'm just going to stick with whatever it is we're doing here. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. I really like this tablet. It, it, it feels really nice. And also, I like the fact that it comes with this little glove. I never really thought of wearing these gloves. That I don't know if my Cintiq came with one. I know it didn't come with a carrying case, but... This glove, it would probably keep your screen so much nicer because after a week, trust me, my screen sometimes feels like someone rolled on it, died, and lost all of their skin particles on my screen. And it's disgusting, but yeah, I have to clean it <laughs> rather often or else it gets that way. So having a glove like this would really help with that as well. And I never really think of that. Plus it would help with gliding across the screen. You don't like have like oily hands and that would be gross, especially if you're like trying to eat chips or something while you're drawing. That would get even worse, so it's important to have this glove, which I never even use on my other tablet, which is probably great if I actually used it. If I did have it, I don't even know if I even came with one, so I'm just guessing. But you know, real fast, we're going to look at colors. I'm going to see what colors look like. Let's say this girl's hair is blonde. 
because that's that's fun, right? Okay, so let's say her hair is blonde. Let me see how it looks. Yeah, the collars look pretty good compared to actually. I'm going over the line art. Like I'm being like really lame. But though, if it is, if it does look a little off, I would have to play with the collar settings to know if it was like going to be off forever or if it was just something I could fix. Because most tablets, the computer screen and the tablet, the collars are different. But if with a little tablet like this, it's not a big problem because your can't, your computer is going to be pretty close. But with a huge tablet, usually your computer and the tablet are pretty different apart on the table. So you have to like go over and look constantly. But with a little tablet like this, you can just look up at your computer and it's not a problem. You could just adjust the collars how you see it. But yeah, if, even if there is a collar problem, you can probably change collar settings on this tablet. But this is working really well. This is honestly a really nice tablet. And I'm really shocked by that. I was not expecting it to be so nice. I know I'm the person who sent me this tablet's gonna watch this video and be like, why are you saying you didn't expect it to be nice? Well, uh, normally when this, the tablet isn't like one of the big, huge companies I've heard of a thousand times, they're usually not very good. And I've only ever used Wacom tablets and thought they were good. So I'm honestly shocked that this one is so nice. And having a discount code and everything for it, if you are looking into getting a tablet, I recommend getting this one before April, what was it, 15th? Yeah, April 15th. That's when the discount code no longer works. So if you are planning on getting a tablet like this or getting it for someone else, that's a good time to get it because it's gonna be a lot cheaper than it normally is. But wow, this is really nice. I've tried this antique that is just like this, the small one as well as the big one. And this really compares. It's nothing about it is making it any worse than the Cintiq, and that is what's really shocking to me. So if you're planning on like thinking of a Cintiq super expensive and you want a smaller one, this is a great place to go, honestly. Okay, well I think we've done about everything we can do in this video. We've looked at the collars, we've looked at the lines and how the pressure is, and I'm still shook about that pressure. How it changes so much. It's crazy. But yeah, the pressure's really nice, and it, it all works really well. I, I don't have much bad to say about it. The only thing is the pin needs to be charged by plugging it in here. So that is something that I would consider a negative from a Cintiq. But the price difference? You might as well just ignore that, because it's not a big deal. It's honestly not a big deal. And it's just everything else works really well. It was really easy to get the drivers, really easy to plug in and get it working. Nothing seems like a big hiccup so that's it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be so yeah you guys can use that code if you want to get one and thank you guys so much for watching